The media, the religion, and the governance all intersect. For example, media messages invoke religious concepts. Governance is amplified by the way the terrorist semi-states send instructions via media, really control their own message and how their message looks, how it gets out, and who receives it. The title of the book is As Terrorism Evolves, Media, Religion, and Governance. One of the things I talk about in the book is the one-on-one -on -one recruitment that they do. It takes enormous patience and enormous amounts of time, but when Islamic State finds a person who is perhaps interested, there's a courtship that goes on involving gifts, everything from copies of the Quran to bars of chocolate that gets sent to that person, but the dialogue continues online. Terrorists have always manipulated media, whether it's news coverage uh, or using media as Islamic State does uh, to publicize itself and most importantly to recruit. Islamic State and Al-Qaeda both have had their own news services. They have their own production facilities. They are playing to a certain extent the same game the people in the traditional news media play. Violence to terrify for political purposes. That's the key to terrorism. For instance, with the attack in New York in 2001, that was designed not just to kill people, but to terrify people. Several thousand people were killed, but millions were terrified by what they saw on their television screens or read about in the newspapers or just talked about with, with family and friends. Journalists need to become much more knowledgeable and not be covering terrorist attacks simply as spot news, that you take a single attack and that's it. Really, the, the issue is not so much whether they're covered, but how they're covered. It all starts to resonate personally, and you think, do I want to live this way? Do I want the next generation to live this way with this constant fear? We need to know more about this in terms that not only appeal to the experts, but also to the general public.